Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. On this video, we're going to see how we can simplify this expression here using some of our algebra tiles. Now, hopefully you watched the first video where I go over what algebra tiles are and all their different names, because that's going to be super helpful for us now when I'm trying to combine this expression and to combine all the like terms. But first, what we need to do is we just need to get all of these algebra tiles on our paper that represent this expression here. So we're gonna start with the first term. It says three X. I need three of my X tiles. Remember the blue rectangles are my X tiles. So there we go, I got three X right here. It says plus five. Well, five is gonna be our unit tiles. So I need to gather then five of my unit tiles. See, I think I have some off to the side here. There we go. There are our five unit tiles right there. Then it says to add an X squared tile. Well, I have one right here. Perfect. Now it says a Y tile. Here's my Y tile. Then it says, wow, three of these X squared tiles. There we go. Three of our X squared tiles. And then last but not least, it wants two more unit tiles. So this is the expression here shown with our algebra tiles. We have three X plus five plus x squared, plus y, plus 3x squared, plus 2. And what the book wants us to do is it wants us to simplify this expression. It wants us to combine any like terms that we have. Like terms here means like tiles. Really what I want to do is I want to group up all of the tiles that are similar to each other, that are the same, together, so that I can write this out in a more simplified process. What I mean by that is, is I notice that I have five unit tiles here. I have my plus two unit tiles here. I'm just gonna take those guys and I'm gonna combine them together. I'm gonna group them up. Same with my X squared tiles here. I notice this guy's over there by himself. Now he's grouped together where he wants to be. Now this is perfect. The only other thing now that I wanna do is I just wanna rearrange these sort of biggest to smallest, left to right, right? biggest to smallest so that we can see them in a nice ordered manner here. So I'm actually just gonna slide these around, right? We can move them around. Nothing wrong with moving them. I'm not adding more tiles in. I'm not taking any tiles out. I'm still just using the ones that I started with. And now what I can do is I can take this expression and I can write its equivalent form as they stick to my hand. Alrighty. I'm gonna start with our X squared tiles. And if you notice, we now have one, two, three, four X squared tiles. Where did we get those four X squared tiles? Well, I started with one X squared tile and then I added three more. X squared plus three X squared becomes four X squared tiles. I then have a Y tile. So I'm gonna write plus Y. You'll notice that that didn't change from its original point right there because there were no additional Y tiles thrown in. Now I'm gonna move on to the next tile here. We have three X's. Again, that's not changing because I only had three X's. I didn't have any other ones in here. Finally, I need to count my one tiles. Let me see if I can try to group them up in a way that's easier for us to count. There we go. You notice that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of my unit tiles here, you're probably realizing, where does that seven come from? The plus five and the plus two. Hopefully we all know five plus two does make seven. This means this answer right here is our simplified expression of the one we started with. All we did here is we combined any like terms or basically any like tiles together and that's why algebra tiles are so nice because you can group them and you can visually see why, oh, an X squared plus three X squared tiles, they're gonna make four X squared tiles. You'll notice that I didn't take these blue tiles and try to group them up over there, right? You notice these rectangles here, it kind of looks like it makes another square, right? But we see here, these are not the same shape. That's why this didn't join together and all of a sudden we would have had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? This is not seven X squared. 
We can't combine those because those are two different tiles. So that's why they're separated. We have four X squared tiles, and then we have three X tiles, okay? That's the magic behind these algebra tiles. They are super helpful with us so we can visualize our expression and then combining those like terms. It's that math magician, and I'll see you on the next video.